Sis guy, he a visionary. You a scammer, you ain't never met slam. Kill your mama, cause I jam. Well, it just so happened that was his mama in that car. But it's wild. Wait until you see after the story what he said about a little Trey mama. Right now, we're following breaking news out of Fort Lauderdale. That's where a woman has been shot and killed. Tim Wynn joins us now from the scene with a look at what's happening. Well, tonight, the search is on for the person who shot and killed a woman. Much of the attention right now seems to be in front of this home near the corner of Northwest 30th Way and Northwest 21st Street, where we're seeing a gray van uh, on a tow truck right now. Police have most of the area roped off. You can see several police SUVs out here, detectives walking around processing the area. Now, this is what things look like when we first got out here. You can see several evidence markers on the ground near a gray minivan where officers were focusing much of their investigation. You can also see a yellow tarp inside that van. Fort Lauderdale police say they got a call about a shooting just after 6 o'clock Wednesday night. When officers got to the scene, they found the woman dead. Family members and neighbors didn't want to speak on camera, but were visibly overwhelmed with emotion. Now, no arrests have been made yet. Police are asking for the community's help. Anyone who knows anything is asked to reach out to Fort Lauderdale Police. For now, we are in Fort Lauderdale. Kim Wynn, NBC6 News. Now, Lil Trey's mom met her demise damn near the same. It's a little eerie. It's a little weird. I ain't gonna hold you. Check this out. Let kids in like the Pied Piper. She's like your biggest support system. Like, no matter w what you are doing, she was never a sad person. She always laughed. But her laughter was silenced the day the mother of eight was shot and killed at this business center on Northwest 27th Avenue near 175th Street in Miami Gardens. It was a Friday, March 19th, around lunchtime. Misty was returning to work at her salon, Hair Free, talking to a friend on the phone. She was on the phone with her, and I guess she told her, like, I guess somebody started her, and she was like, wow, you, oh, you scared me. And what are you here for? And then all of a sudden, I guess, like, with him pulling out the gun on her, I guess, um, and she's got her gunshots. Did she indicate whether she thought Misty knew this person? I don't think she did because she said, oh, you scared me. Um, who are you here for? And that's it. Then she heard gunshots. Mm -hmm. Miami Gardens police say Misty Hopkins was approaching the salon door when she was confronted and shot to death by a man wearing a black hoodie. Police say she died here in this hallway. But the man fled down the stairs and headed west across Northwest 27th Avenue. The women say Misty was not robbed, but was shot several times. What does that tell you? That it was intentional, that they you were out. They was out yeah. to seek a revenge. Uh, personal. Mm -hmm. But not towards her, because she wouldn't have my fly, so. They believe their friend was targeted for some reason because of the brutal way she was killed. They say many were too afraid to go to the funeral. So we just like kind of just stayed away. If a person was that bold to hear her in broad daylight, who's to say you wouldn't come to the funeral? Nicole and Latoya are Misty's lifelong friends, and Melanie is her biological sister. Sisters. They share a friendship so close, they consider themselves all sisters. That's right. what you do. <laughs> but staying away from her little sister's funeral was especially hard for Melanie. It's not right. You have to be some kind of devil to even try to shoot her in her face. So just the thought of you just putting the bullet to her face. Imagine I have to have a, a closed casket funeral and she's beautiful. Like, you see her. Right. Yeah. Right. She was beautiful. Yeah. I don't know why the bullets were aimed at her, but to even say goodbye, you know, she didn't deserve that type of goodbye. 
She should have been celebrated. There was sheer anguish the day Misty Hopkins died. And now, a month later, her sisters are hoping someone will come forward to find her killer. Justice got to be served and somebody got to speak up. If we don't speak up, then what's going to happen? Turn yourself in. You, you broke a lot of hearts. Misty Hopkins was a wife, daughter, mother, grandmother, and sister. Her youngest child is just two years old. Now how do you tell a two-year-old your mom is gone? He's missing so much. And for him to be two years old and taken, uh, just, I just don't understand. The sisters are pleading, if you saw something, say something and call police. Crime Stoppers is offering up to a $5,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. Karen Hensel, 7 News. Now, condolences to the family, but for him, it's hard for me to muster any sympathy for him. And the fact of the matter is, there are rumors around Florida that I will not be repeating, but there are some rumors around there about that woman's death. Now, with that being said, do our words have power? If it does, I want this video to do a million. So if y'all can, write your thoughts and leave a like as soon as you do that so we can spark it to there. Let's see if them words have power. Psycho Bob, <clears throat> as you sit there you got a five-year sentence, probably about four and some change. You are now not allowed to grieve your mother in her presence anymore in the physical until you obviously go to a gravesite or if they put her in an urn. Nobody wants these things. They don't want to bury their mama, but they don't want to see their mama bury them. It's a little weird conundrum that we have in our community. We never want to see our mothers buried. But do you know the pain that it would be for your mother to bury you? Second thing, the utter disrespect that we have when we dislike a person and the lengths that we'll go to, even myself, I've done it before, I ain't gonna hold you. But the lengths of disrespect we will go to, especially when it's personal, is damn near demonic. So with that being said about that, bruh, isn't it a little odd now that the same insults that you could give are now being returned to you now? The insults that you gave now come back to get you. And I'm not saying that he deserved it and his mama deserved to die and nothing like that. I can't say that. That's, that's out of line. Regardless of whatever rumors y'all might have heard. But what I can say is this. Watch what you say, who you say it to, and how you say it. Because you never know if those words can be prophetic to talk about somebody in your same exact situation and then it flips on you. Do I feel bad for the family? Yeah. Do I feel bad for him? It's going to be hard for me to do that because of what I heard. Because a part of me is like, bruh, you know, this could happen to you as well. The other niggas' mamas are still living in the hoods. For what? If you love your mama so much, you should care to protect her. And how do you protect her? You put her in places where crime is not written. Like, it's not run apart. It's not this heavy thing. We had to make sure that if we are the protectors of which we become, because what ends up happening is the child needs to be protected, the adult does the protecting, and the, grand, the grandparents do the protecting of the kids as well. We had to protect both of them and once you're of age, pardon me. I don't think Psycho Bob understood that. I don't really think Psycho Bob was getting money like that. I looked at his YouTube channel and only had 27,000 subscribers. Did some numbers, but nothing that you would brag about. But with that being said, I know Kodak more than likely going to pay for the funeral. Like he should. Y'all friends. Y'all call Cuz Sniper Gang. I'm pretty sure Psycho Bob that took on beef because of you. But at that same time, bro, I just had to sit back and ponder and wonder what is it that's going to make a lot of this stuff stop. And I don't have the answers. Maybe you do. Subscribe, turn on that bell, stay notified, and share to keep your people aware. I'll catch you on the next one.
say, words couldn't hurt me. Videos, it's my name, they getting thirsty. Go ahead and put him in a hearse. It's getting murky, this time I deserve this. I'm ready for whatever war said he been a matador. Stand for the dance. I'm dreaming for